frankly, most of the investments that I've made have been around improving patient experience and efficiency of health systems. And there's an enormous amount of work that still needs to be done there. I, I, I equate where we are as a healthcare tech stack today to where you know, most other industries were 15 years ago. Um, you know, the EMR is still a clunky, difficult to wield tool that is core to every medical transaction today. Um, I think there's a lot of room for improvement there, like orders of magnitude of improvement. But what gets me most excited is seeing some of the work and innovation that's actually happening on the biotech side. And I'm no expert on biotech. In fact, I've not made a single biotech investment, but the opportunities around precision medicine, uh, around even just the, 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 the delivery mechanisms uh, around the, the new you know, um, Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, these are brand new approaches to vaccine development that we've never seen before. CRISPR-Cas9, you know, opens up an entire world of potential therapies and treatments. Um, you know, artificial intelligence and, and nanotech and you know, the world of cures and treatments that might be in our next 50 years gives me a lot of hope. I know it's still gonna take a lot of time and we still have a lot of work to do. Um, but I, I think we can cure cancer. I think we can cure Alzheimer's. And you know, if we can make some of these advances around um, medicine, um, the, the world and, and life as we know it will change.